What up guys, welcome back man. Today we're gonna finally get this mess cleaned up and get this finalized. <laughs> Dude, look at this. Look, I don't know what I'm gonna do about this, bro. <laughs> Holy crap, and the wheelbarrow. I mean, I only gave 25 bucks for this wheelbarrow, somebody off a of marketplace, so if I have to throw the whole wheelbarrow away, it's no big deal. Funny thing, and don't mind the GoPro on my head because we're getting ready to leave the house right now. Funny thing is um, I hit that guy up for that $25 wheelbarrow. Whenever we were loading up all that gravel, I said screw it, ran up to Home Depot and grabbed the cheapest wheelbarrow they have. This thing was 70 bucks. It's plastic and it's flimsy. But as soon as I bought that damn thing, I'm on my way home from buying that and this guy finally responded. You know what I mean? I had messaged this guy for like two days straight and he finally responded. So now I have two wheelbarrows, but now I, I Probably I'm only gonna have one if I can't get that concrete out. But yeah, my goal today is to get all this mess cleaned up and we gotta get all the frames off, get all these stakes pulled out and stuff. I need to get all this concrete out from the sides right here. Like look, it overflowed really bad right here. I wanna kinda take some of this uh, dirt and like make a ramp or something for the time being so that we can actually pull a car up here because there's gonna be one hell of a lip right there but we'll get it figured out. But before we get on that, I need to recoup some money. I need to get that damn Flip EK sold. I haven't even posted that thing up yet, so that's what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna go clean it and find a place, take some pictures really quick, get the thing posted up, grab a thing of our super clean. Look, these are the pants I was wearing whenever we were doing the concrete. Like, they're freaking hard as a rock. Yeah, we definitely have a lot of cleanup to do. And now we are switching over to the head cam. So let me know how you guys like the footage from the head cam. I think I'm gonna start doing this a little bit more often. All right, I really am pretty damn upset about this, bro. This whole entire clip is all hyperlapse. So this was probably half of my video for today. <laughs> I'm literally jumping in the car to go and take this thing into a car wash, go clean it up really quick so we can take some pictures of it. Uh, mobbing down the street, dude, right here, some Tequatcha's old lady tried to cut me off flip me off and she's like screaming and yelling at me. I was actually excited about that footage, but no, 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 it's all hyperlapse. But anyhow, hitting the tires with some super clean. I almost forgot about it. I, I talk about that in the footage that you can't hear the audio for. Dude, GoPros, I do not trust, man. And I normally check this, but for whatever reason, I didn't check today. But you know how like whenever the GoPro's off, you just hit that top button and it'll return back to the previous setting. So if you were hyperlapsing before this, it's going to return to hyperlapse and start recording. But I wasn't. I had it like I literally said it before I put it on my head. But for whatever reason, it decided to change over to hyperlapse. After I was finished washing the car, I realized all the drying bays were all completely full, so it wasn't a big deal to me. I drove down to Circle K to go dry the car, but I realized that everybody was staring at me like I was some kind of weirdo because it looked like I was out there washing my car at the gas station. <laughs> Anyhow, pulling up to the park now. Look, my freaking wheels! I completely forgot those were back there. Um, I, I mentioned that in the footage as well. But anyhow, pulled up to the park. This is where I'm just snapping some pictures so that I can, I have some pictures to put this thing up for sale. And I think I talked about it right here. I, I'm going to put it up for 35. Well, I'm going to put it up for 4,000 or best off. Um, I'm expecting to get around 3,500 is what I would like to get. Anyhow, yeah, just getting some pictures all the way around. I should have this thing up for sale today. Hopefully kind of recoup some money so we can get that damn canopy built out back because we need that done ASAP. And we are back home. <laughs> I hope the rest of my footage isn't like this because I actually do this head cam doing the workout back as well. Damn it. 
All right, back at the house. Now we need to attack this backyard. Now put it in the comments down below. Like I know I've asked you guys this before, but I'm thinking a fair amount for that car would probably be around 3,500. I'm probably gonna put it up for 4,000 or best offer um, because I know I'm gonna get talked down. You always kind of want to price things higher than what you really want to get for it because you know that people are gonna lowball you no matter what. I'd really like to see $3,500 off of the car because that would really help tremendously towards getting this area done. But the car does have problems, man. The body isn't perfect. The paint is not perfect. It runs really good. It starts up every time, um, but it doesn't run perfect either. Like you'll be sitting at a light and it'll start like surge, like the idle will come down and it'll start kind of surging and you can hear the AC doing like this, like like sound to it. I don't know. If you turn the air conditioning off, it stops doing that. So I don't know if that has something to do with the AC compressor or what it, you know, what it is. But those are things that I'm not going to fix, man. The car is basically as is. So I mean, I mean, it's a decent looking car you guys know what it came from but we did a really good job uh replacing that core support man dustin freaking killed it on that um and i genuinely like looking at it it's hard to tell that that thing was ever in a car accident i mean the thing's all one color you know what i'm saying and it's all stock and it's a single cam with air conditioning it's got ls meshies on it full interior um and it does need some work you know what i'm saying so it's perfectly daily drivable so i think it's worth 3500 all right, so first thing I'm gonna do is try to work on getting all this wood off, all these forms. So that's my starting point. I'm gonna get all that stuff peeled and I need to find somewhere to put this thing and yeah, hammer time. Da -na 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 -na. Big old chunk. I forgot I had to take all these damn screws out. Hard part is I can't get on my knees at all. <laughs> ah, great. Oh my god. All right. Screw you too. Yeah. That worked. Hey, there's the side of our slab. <laughs> Looks like concrete. What can I say? All right. Now all that. All right, my knees are freaking killing me now. Ugh, gotta move this big old freaking slab. Oh my God. All right, hammer ain't doing it no more. Feels a lot better than what it did, but still hurts like a mother trucker. Definitely lesson learned about concrete. Shit's no joke. Oh yeah, nice. Very nice, very nice. All right. Now I just gotta take all the screws out of this thing because the wood should still be good. You know what I'm saying? Take all the screws out of it, maybe rinse all the dirt off of it and stack it back on the side of the house in case I need it for anything else. All right. Got all my stakes. Got all the wood up here that we use. Some of it, some of the screws are like stripped out. I'll deal with that later. I'm not dealing with that shit right now. I'm definitely gonna keep the stakes and stuff and uh, definitely gonna keep those wood boards. Like I mentioned before, uh, in the future, I do want to do more concrete. The plan is to extend this kind of all the way over. Um, I want it to maybe all the way to like right here like on the other side of that gate there. And then we'll still have a little bit of dirt right here. That's future plans, man. I look forward to doing that. I'm not gonna lie. I know Braven disagrees with me. But I think we're going to be able to do it a lot better this time. <laughs> Dude, I, what, what I think would have been huge for this, and I've seen it in the comments. One of you guys uh, mentioned this. This was after we had already poured concrete that I read it. And I was like, dude, that would have been ideal if we would have split this up into three sections. I would have had to order concrete twice, but that wouldn't have been a huge deal. So, like, let's say from this line right here, would have put a board 
and just framed that section and then from this line right here just framed this section so whenever the concrete came out the first time we would have just filled this part and we would have filled this part and then maybe like the next day we would have took that two by four out of the center and then they would have came for a second time and then we would have just filled the center part that way we wouldn't have had to worry about like putting the lines um it would have been a lot more controllable and we would have had um, a lot more time to be able to get it all smooth and get it nice you know what i'm saying if we would have separated it in three sections like that but i don't know being being that i'm not like a, a concrete contractor like i don't know i didn't think of that um but that that was a really good idea and i wish that's what we would have done but Anyhow, I got all the forms all out, got all the stakes put up, picked up all the nails. Now we're going to go through and try to get all this concrete out of the dirt and just throw it into the wheelbarrow. I don't know what we're going to do about that yet. <laughs> Dude, that thing is, that's going to be a freaking chore to get rid of. Sure we don't have a sledgehammer? I know we did. I would only throw it away if it broke. <sighs> uh, no, I had one. <sighs> this ain't breaking. Fuck. Yeah, I sure. <sighs> wish we had a boulder. I have no jumping strength at all right now, bro. Good lord, I have barely have walking strength. Get that heavy ass cinder block. Man, this thing ain't heavy enough. All right, here we go. <laughs> uh, trying to break concrete with concrete, right? Where there's a will, there's a way. Whoa. Holy shit. Oh yeah, it's bending the shit out of the thing. That whole flex is just in the in this metal bending. And then the tire goes again. Man, what the hell, man? Might be able to roll it. Yeah. I wasn't even talking about the dolly. <laughs> it's the whole thing. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker trying to kill me, bro. Unacceptable, my friend. <laughs> well, it looks like we're gonna break it. <laughs> bro, look at the dolly now. It won't even stand up. Watch out. Good lord. It all breaks in four. Dude, that took every bit of me. Holy fuck. <laughs> you can't use our legs. I know. My legs are so weak for some reason. It's weird, dude. It's just the skin, but yet. <sighs> all right, I think we got all this damn concrete out of the way, man. Uh, there's a little bit left right here, but I'm not gonna worry about that. We're actually just gonna kind of rake it up towards the uh, towards the slab itself. Cause what we want to do now is kind of take some of this dirt and I want to kind of build like a ramp up to it for the time being. Like in the future, I, I want to do like a concrete ramp. But for now, I ain't messing around with no damn concrete. I just want I just want to put a dirt ramp up to it. So yeah, we want to uh, smoothen some of this out, and we're gonna use all this concrete bits and just put it up against there, and then cover it with dirt and just kind of like calm packed it the best we can but yeah overall the slab didn't come out bad bro like we go all the way around like it, it looks pretty freaking good it's hella thick this is about i want to say around five inches thick and it has a um that gravel base underneath it like we showed you guys i saw a lot of people commenting about rebar in which yes yes rebar would have made it stronger but um really i think this is gonna do this was 3500 psi concrete and i also had them add that fiber mesh stuff into it so it's supposed to be really strong by itself like you don't even need like rebar though rebar or like a wire mesh or something would have made it a lot stronger um to be honest with you i it wasn't in the budget bro like i still need to um 
once we get that car sold i still need to go and buy all the material and stuff to build this canopy up here you know what i'm saying but yeah that's what we're doing next is we're going to kind of build a ramp right there so that we're able to pull cars up but while i'm talking about the canopy i actually wanted to see if any of you guys would possibly know what this material right here is called see it's kind of like a c channel i want to say let me stand up on braven's truck because the sun's not allowing the camera to focus on it yeah you see it's kind of like it's kind of like a c channel you know what i mean but it's real thin i think this is probably like an eighth of an inch thick but i want to i want to build that canopy out back out of the same kind of material because this stuff isn't like crazy heavy duty but it is strong and i'm sure this is probably a lot cheaper than buying like i-beam or something so if anybody knows what this material right here is called Throw it in the comments down below, please. I've been trying to figure it out, but I can't find it. I'm hoping that one of you guys know what it's called because my only other option is to like take some pictures of it and like actually run around to some of the steel like uh, factories around here and just show them pictures and see what it is. But I would I'd rather go into one of those kind of places prepared, like knowing what I'm looking for instead of showing pictures. pretty much the idea man i want to build up dirt right here so that we have kind of like a like a ramp like i mentioned to get cars up here um that side over there is starting to kind of look good this is like way too steep still i need to pretty much bring dirt probably all the way out to here you know what i'm saying so i think i can rob some from over here this is kind of humped up a little bit so i could probably skim this area right here and get some of this dirt and put it over there we're probably going to finish that up tomorrow uh, Braven is currently pressure washing and getting all the residue from the concrete off of the pre-existing slab So we had concrete residue like all the way up here um, And his pressure washer is just ripping it right out of there. So that's awesome So I'm gonna let him finish doing that before I continue with the dirt because he's gonna pressure wash this all the way down And then this is probably gonna get pretty wet and muddy which Honestly, it's probably gonna help it. So then I can come through and and tamp it with it like wet and it'll kind of compact it more in there, I think. But yeah, later I'm gonna get out here, like I said, skim some of that dirt, put it over here. Then I'll probably move the trailer and pull the Suburban back here and just go, rant, 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 you know what I mean? And compact this all down. But anyhow, guys, that's pretty much it for today. Just a really quick video, getting this all kind of finalized, you know what I'm saying? Put in the comments down below if you know what that material is called, that, that extrusion or C-channel or whatever that stuff is called that's on that canopy out front. Also, if anybody works in the steel like uh, business, like steel factory or something, if you're if you're capable of getting that type of material, um, let me know, man. Anyhow, guys, like I said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do smash the like button, and hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm gonna try to keep up on uh, daily vlogs. Uh, tomorrow, I don't know. I think I'm gonna try to talk Braven into uh, putting his money where his mouth is, and we might have a race between this thing and that thing right there. Yes.